we are at the dunes. We're gonna hike in, find a place to camp. Now if things get bad, I'm gonna come back to this spot and just camp here. Imperial Dunes, California. These sand dunes stretch 40 miles in length and average five miles in width. Oh, the key for this journey is to conserve water. I have about two liters with me. It's probably not going to be enough. I finally hike about three miles, two miles across the dunes. Pick a spot to camp, I should be fine. Depends on how quickly I travel though. The dunes are situated north of the Mexican border and are 25 miles west of Arizona. They are the largest dunes open to off-road vehicles in the United States. The desert sands shift daily creating dunes that reach 300 feet in height. The ripple effects show the relationship between air and sand, creating views only in this area. A few movies such as Return of the Jedi and The Road to Zanzibar were filmed here. The main stretch to camp on and access the dunes quickly is called Gecko Road. April through September it is free to access the sand dunes. October through April, permits are sold for $35 and there are seasonal permits for $150. In the summer months, the sand dunes reach highs of 108 degrees Fahrenheit, while the lows are in the lower 80s. In December, the average high is 70 degrees and low is 44 degrees. A wet day for the sand dunes is 0 .04 inches of liquid and the rainy season brings in a total of 0.8 inches. Wind speeds have reached 22 miles per hour out at the dunes and the winds strong enough can create sandstorms resulting in poor visibility and chaos. Each year hikers and recreational motorists die at the dunes, either by practicing unsafe vehicle operations or by underestimating how much water they need. to the top of where my goal was on this ridge trying not to fall off either side it doesn't seem very steep but it it's steep
this moon and the view that I have. So I decided to come out and uh, get the time lapse of the sunrise this morning. It's quite a beautiful sunrise over this desert landscape. It's 8.15, done count, cleaned up everything. It's time to head back to the car. Throughout the hike, my calves were getting a full workout from the deep sands. I knew the next day I was going to feel my muscles. I kept a steady pace throughout the entire hike. Going too fast would have exerted too much energy and sweat. Hiking over dunes, I thought to myself, many French foreign legionnaires marching through Africa and the Middle East with a rifle and pack on in the late 1800s. I wondered what grit they had for going weeks in the desert with only the pack on their back and sparse water sprinkled along the way. The hardest part about these valleys you don't know which rift to really take and it doesn't look that steep in the distance but in all reality it's steep. and you gotta climb oh you gotta climb not to tire yourself out you need to climb slow little short steps as you go Coming out to the desert has made me more grateful for the things I have and use every day. Well, like I said, I made it back. Car's in sight. There's the car up in the distance. told me there were some springs in the middle of nowhere. He was like, oh, I'll fly a palm, and uh, yeah, your vehicle might not make it. I was like, okay, cool. So uh, I took the dirt road. It wasn't bad. It was like a normal off-road like South Carolina. And lo and behold, here's the spring. It's called Five Palm Springs Oasis. Beautiful springs. If I lived out here, I would probably find myself here a lot most of the time <laughs>